Okay, I've said that Tesla's competition is coming and some legacy car makers are doing pretty well taking more market share in the electric vehicle market. So one US legacy car maker is quietly tripling its electric vehicle sales. We don't think of this company as a rising leader in the electric vehicle market usually while thinking more of Tesla and Tesla's successes, but it just tripled its EV sales gaining 3.1% EV market share and if things going to go in this direction it can potentially seriously eclipse Tesla. Ford released its September 2022 sales results Tuesday as the automaker continues to see rising demand for its electric vehicles, especially Mustang mach -E. Despite ongoing supply issues, Ford's electric vehicle sales tripled plus 197% from last year, gaining 3.1% market share as the automaker looks to hit its goal of 600,000 run rate by the end of 2023. That's far from Tesla, but it's gaining quickly market share. And where will Tesla be with things going in this direction? Rising demand for electric vehicles boosted disappointing September. Despite overall sales declining almost 9% from September 2021, Ford's EV remain a hot commodity. Ford's electric vehicles sales rose 197% year over year and the company sold 4,691 total electric vehicle sales in September. The strong interest in Ford's new electric vehicles helped offset an otherwise bleak September sales release. The automaker continues like most of the industry to struggle with supply chain issues and parts shortages. Ford claims for the sixth straight month more than 50% of Ford retail sales came from previously placed orders. What does this mean? A key thing to note is that Ford saw a significant 18.3% decline in truck sales, the company as the company's crown jewel and previous best selling segment, which is the truck sales, the F-150. Since launching in June, Ford has sold 8,760 Ford F-150 Lightning electric trucks, the company's electric pickup. Perhaps more importantly, the all-electric Mustang Mach-E continues to see high demand despite being on the market for almost three years. Ford sold 2,324 Mustang Mach-E's in September, a 40% increase from last year, bringing the total to 28,089 in 2022. Ford's third and final electric vehicle, the e-transit van that customers began receiving earlier this year, dominates its market with over 90% share. The e-transit remained the best-selling electric car through September, selling 4,387 since its release. I'm wondering when Tesla will release a Tesla van. Tesla electric van, which many people would work welcome. Andrew Frick, VP of sales of Ford Blue, talk about the company's EV success thus far, stating Ford continued to see high demand vehicles turning at record rates in September while developing electric truck and van leadership and extending our overall truck leadership. Ford, Ford gained 3.1% EV market share in September year over year, reaching 7% of the total. However, with 41,236 41, electric vehicle sales year to date and lingering supply chain issues, how will um, Ford hit a 600,000 run rate by the end of next year? But Ford may build a couple of gigafactories maybe. Now, how Ford plans to increase its EV production? Ford has big plans to scale the output of its electric vehicles and get more EVs in the hand of customers over the next few years. However, meeting its goal to hit a 600,000 run rate by the end of 2023 and then 2 million by 2026 uh, will take significant expansion. The, the, the demand is already there, as Freak explains in Ford's September sales. He said, demand remains strong with new retail orders rapidly expanding. The Ford 150 F-150 Lightning electric truck turns in just 8 days, while the Mach-E uh, turns in 10 days, so much faster than Tesla. Ford mentions retail orders for 2023 models are up 244% over 2022 models so far, signaling the company has the buyers. Yet, like many automakers, they the key to meeting this demand will be ensuring supply. You know that there are problems with supply chain right now in the automotive industry. The automaker said in July it has locked 
up 60 gigawatt hour of battery supply to meet its 600,000 target run rate also confirming that it will be adding iron phosphate cells to reduce its reliance on scarce minerals like nickel Ford said the transition could result in 10 to 15 percent in material savings as for heating 2 million by 2026 2 million electric vehicles ford claims to have 70 percent of the battery cell capacity required in september ford set new dealer requirements to get its network on the board with an electric vehicle push as the automaker looks to gain further market share and catch up with tesla in electric vehicle sales although seeing as tesla just sold a record 343,000 electric vehicles in quarter three it will likely be an uphill battle for ford but things are changing, the numbers are coming, and the government requirements are forcing car makers, especially legacy car makers, to speed up their transition to electric vehicle production, and they're putting more re research and development. Um, one company, I forgot which one it was, was it Toyota or uh, GM? They, they were going to have 70 electric vehicle models and investing $70 billion for that. So it's going to change a lot of things, friends, in the future. So what do you think about Ford's efforts and gaining more market share and uh, the possibility of eclipsing uh, Tesla and other electric vehicle makers? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll look forward to reading them. Thanks for watching and thanks for sharing in social media. Tesla just achieved a new record in Switzerland with Skoda Octavia. Tesla Model Y continues to please with its results occupying top positions in the automotive market in various countries, and Switzerland is one of them. The compact SUV became the best-selling car in Switzerland, with Model 3 became the third best-selling car in the country. Skoda Octavia took the second place. Tesla Model Y took the first place in Switzerland. You know, Switzerland is a beautiful country with amazing landscapes that will take your breath away. Many people dream to visit Switzerland one day. Now, it seems that the locals do not settle for anything less and prefer to have the best in everything. That is why many Swiss people choose Tesla cars, which give pleasure every day. In 2022, the manufacturer's vehicles were particularly popular in Switzerland, and September sales figures complete the picture, getting a new record for Switzerland uh, for Tesla in Switzerland. So, uh, according to Auto Suisse, uh, uh, the Model Y was the top-selling car in Switzerland for the first nine months of 2022. The electric car competed with the most popular petrol cars, most popular gas car models, taking their market share and achieving a high result with 3,314 electric Model Y sold overtook Škoda Avia, uh, Octavia, with, uh, with took, uh, which took another 3,000 or so units. Tesla Model 3 Oslo showed strength with 3,078 vehicles sold, placing third in overall rankings. It is worth noting that Tesla cars are the only electric cars in the top 20, which further underlines the brand's appeal among the Swiss people. Tesla sales in Switzerland for the first nine months of 2022 increased by 52.1% compared to the same period last year. Audi Q3 came number uh, four of with 2,828 vehicles, while Volkswagen Tiguan came number five with 2,703 vehicle sales. It doesn't sound like there is a much range anxiety there in Switzerland, does it? So what do you think about Tesla's new, uh, this um, re record in Switzerland, taking the top uh, two of three places? Tesla Model Y took the first place, Tesla Model 3 took the third place. The second place was, was taken by, um, Sweet, uh, Skoda Octavia. Let me know, friends, your thoughts in the comments section below. Good things are apparently coming for Tesla in different markets, getting market share.